Well, hello, everybody. Putty, I stole your intro again. Yeah, yes, you did. Ser God damn seriously. it. God damn it. Um, this is Raw. We're back in action. We, we have a guest tonight, don't we? We do. We have Matthew Neville joining us. Matthew, are you there? What are you doing here? Uh, uh, this is... Okay, Ma chef. Matthew, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, so, I invite you to these things, and you... It's really an honor. I watch Raw every week. You give me that. Like, god damn. You, you know I, what? I, I really like Seth Rollins. Good. He does the, f f the flips. As you should. And I miss the women's division. Okay, that okay. Now, now you, now you're just fucking lying to me. So we are <laughs> in the Williams Arena in North Carolina, and let's let's run the show. It's kicking things off with an 89A, Tetsuya Naito comes out to address the New Year's Revolution main event. Revolution, resolution. Who the fuck knows? So Naito but, says, of course, we have Cesaro. Cesaro is going to be in the main event as he is the champion. He's going to defend the belt against Tyler Breeze. And I'm making the announcement right now that, yes, Stone Cold Steve Austin will indeed be in the Elimination Chamber. Wait, God. what? Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to put a, like, 60-year-old man in the Elimination Chamber from, like, a real-life perspective? That's crazy. From a game perspective, the man's stamina is going to kill that much. I don't know what you're talking about, Matthew. You, you Why don't you just fuck off? I book how I want, Matthew. Your name's Matthew, you fuck. He's gonna go in with, like, this wooden walking stick and just, like, hobble into the ring. Like, it's gonna be brilliant. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, Tucker. Don't, don't listen to Matthew. Thank you. Thank you, Putty. At least, at least Putty supports me, Matthew. So... Sorry, MC McDavid Dizzle. <laughs> So, regarding the other three spots, uh, we're going to have two qualification matches tonight. And for the for the third and final spot, uh, I will be making an announcement about it, about an hour in the show. So, the first qualification match we will be having will be Bray Wyatt versus Sheamus. And that's going to come uh, around the middle of the show, you know, about an hour in. Uh, and in our main event of the evening, Roman Reigns is going to take on The Miz for the final spot in the Elimination Chamber. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the show, and uh, let's let's get right into it. Moss, Ingobernables, Worldwide. De Denny's. De Denny's. De Denny's. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with an 81B, Luke Harper defeats Xavier Woods in 7 minutes and 10 seconds by pinfall with a discus clothesline. Luke Harper's really fucking good at that old wrestling thing. I mean, uh, you, you're you welcome. What? Yep. Yep. I, Matthew Neville, is the, are the trainer of the man you know as Brody Lee. Oh! Oh my god, we're learning more and more and more about Matthew's past. I used to work on comms at World of Sport in the 90s. Oh, man, this is... <laughs> okay, Putty, I think he's been watching too much of your shit. He actually thinks he is you. Um, um, let, let, no, let we worked together to on World segment, of Sport in the okay, 90s. Okay, you're, you're just... Uh, oh. Matthew, just stop it, okay? You're the guest here, okay? Don't... Ma Matthew, you're, I know your brother's with Adrian, but, <laughs> like... <laughs> But you don't have Gotta to... Gotta keep kayfabe. I'm a kayfabe member of the Neville family. The Neville family. <laughs> Just like Carl is a kayfabe member of the Anderson family. So anyways, we're gonna move into our next angle, which is a Bray Wyatt promo with Roman Reigns. You know, the two of them say that they're going to beat Sheamus and The Miz, and that both of them are going to go into the Elimination Chamber. And, and Roman uh, totally won't burn down the Wyatt family. He complex. totally won't do any of that bullshit at all. Roman <laughs> swears to God, bro. And as long uh, as Roman is Bray's servant, I won't burn down your shit. Believe that. <laughs> Believe that. I won't be digging up no bodies and burning down buildings. <laughs> Only dig up no bodies. <laughs> I don't want none of that. All right. That's a good, good, too too long prison term for Roman. <laughs> we, we just keep the seaweed monster in the seaweed place. Okay, it's gonna be fine. Uh, yeah, so Bray, uh, follow the buzzards. Run, da. Yep. Ooh, ah. Uh. <laughs> 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 
best transition ever. Uh, as we head into another another segment in the tower. So we are with Steph's group the once more. Of power. The tower of the tower of power, <laughs> yeah. And they're they're going along or whatever, and now they've made it up to another floor or whatever, and they're in this office type setting, you know, there's a whole lot of desks everywhere. So Stephanie Hero, Ares, Dalton Castle, and the pastor are going through, and then all of a sudden from from like just like a corner of the room. Uh a, a, is it is it Shuriken? Shuriken? Shuriken. Shuriken? Shuriken. 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 Shuriken flies through and almost and like hit, like cuts part of the pastor's beard. And it's it's so tragic <laughs> and like Dalton's like no. Uh, and this is more emotionally disturbing than the two deaths we've had in this arc. Exactly. Rest in peace, <laughs> no way, Jose. We will miss you. And, and, we, and we look over, and and who who threw the shuriken? But it's it's a man with a katana. It's an Asian man. It's it's Sonata. <laughs> Fucking Sonata. <laughs> he has a katana, and he Sonata and has a katana. That the shuriken was a baseball bat all along. <laughs> and Sonata chases after a group of heroes, and they are fucking pissing themselves. Because this man has a legitimate sword. Like, holy shit. Like, they beat Bushi with a with a peacock distraction. This man has a katana and shurikens. He's a legitimate ninja. What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, and, and and we uh we, we we leave the angle with Sonata. Really the only way to beat Sonata is to fight fire with fire and get Io Shirai. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, as 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 we as we prepare to prepare to leave the angle, we see uh we see the pastor in, in the background like meditating or something some weird thing that pastors do. Probably fucking Pray? a small child. Um, <laughs> and, well, if you believe some commentators, that's good for them. Oh my god, no. <laughs> what, he, do you uh, not believe Milo has very good considerations <laughs> of social justice? Matthew, no. <laughs> Buddy, this is what happens when you bring people onto my show. Oh god, yeah. We, we need to get him. Oh my god, my dog is going off too. And so, before, holy shit, they are going off insane for this last little bit as the pastor pulls out a fucking lightsaber. Like it's a sword made of spiritual energy. And he turns the corner. Him and Sonata stare down, and we fade to black. Wow. Bobby, next week. This dog in the background is doing her thing. She she pop for that. She's popping real hard, folks. As we uh we, we move forward into a uh, a match actually as La Sombra defeats the returning Carl Deal in four minutes twenty seconds by pinfall day hammerlock snap DDT. Uh, after the match, the two kind of handshake, hug it out a little bit. Yeah, that is the breakout star of the year right there. Carl Deal, right? Oh, Carl yeah. Deal picking up a big L to open up 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Breakout star of the year, buddy. Oh. You're burying him. Rob Van Dam cuts a promo on Adrian Neville. He says, you know, Neville thinks whatever. He can go around, do whatever he wants, say whatever he wants. He can't. He's going to learn that this Sunday. Because what these people know and what I know... And what I don't think Adrian Neville knows is that Rob Van Dam is the whole fucking show. By the way, I've just we've destroyed any appearance of PG on Raw. We don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> yeah, they, really they moved. They moved to like. Nah, but like TV SmackDown's 18. like PG thirteen. We are TVA. Yeah. Like, we don't give a fuck. I don't know. I, I mean, I think we were definitely more mature during the Kings Eventually Die era. Yeah. When we had, like, fucking Tommy M cutting satanic promos every week. That's true. That's true. <laughs> uh, as we move forward into you know, a... If you play back the commentary from the John Cena Samoa Joe Armageddon 2016 match, it has a satanic message. Oh, shit. Back, if you play it backwards, yeah. It's a yeah. ritual to summon Satan. Oh no, don't do that unless you want to summon Satan, folks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it was a really good 
really good point. I'm we get that. a 96 A star promo from Tyler Breeze and Summer Ray. You're welcome. Fuck you, Neville. What did you ever do? Nothing. You didn't do anything. It's putty. Yeah, Matthew. It's putty. Putty did everything. No. No. <laughs> Fuck sakes. What is this? <laughs> Anyways, they say that it's Tyler's time this Sunday. Doesn't matter if it's Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, Sheamus, the Undertaker. The other guy, The Miz, my bad, totally forgot who it was. Uh, Cesaro, Steve Austin, John Cena, The Rock, The Big Show, The Big Show. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if you smell The Rock's music hits, he comes down to the ring. I have a surprise announcement to make. <laughs> Football superstar Benito Mussolini, who doesn't he matter. Got the trains running on time. It, 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 it doesn't matter. Because this is Tyler's time, and he's taking what's his. It's my time, and my dick fell off. Exactly. Exactly. As we head into yet another match, as Big E defeats Austin Aries in 537 by pinfall of a big ending. And then post-match, 76 B-, uh, Big E and Braun Strowman stare each other down as the two prepare to clash this Sunday at New Year's Revolution. 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 So Tetsuya Naito comes to the ring. And he brings out Chris Hero with him. Naito says, Hero, at the Royal Rumble, you're going to be representing Raw in a WWE Championship triple threat match. In this match, you have the opportunity to take SmackDown's World Championship from them. The WWE Championship from them and bring it back here. Chris, I would like I would like to make that occasion even more momentous. I, I would like to maybe, you know, drive buy rates for the Rumble a little bit higher. M make a, a, a superstar, a name for years to come, a moment for years to come. So, Chris, here's what I'm offering you. Absolutely nothing. I'm offering you a chance to go all in on this. Chris, I'm offering you the opportunity to walk into the Elimination Chamber this Sunday, become World Heavyweight Champion, go to the Royal Rumble, win the WWE Championship, and combine the two belts here on Monday Night Raw with you as the champion dun, dun, dun. Chris what do you say hmm. and Chris Chris doesn't say anything he just shakes Naito's hand and leaves how crazy would it be if Chris Hero won both titles Taker won the rumble like he promised and our main event of Wrestlemania is for the unified championship <laughs> That's oddly specific. <laughs> um, well, Taker's Taker said a couple weeks ago the hero was gonna win the title. Yeah, so he's got he full confidence in him, and <sighs> and if so, can Hero win both? We, oh, we need yeah. Taker's mystic powers. In that's not again. a prediction. That's a spoiler. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn. And before Naito leaves, he just will, gives off another loss. Ingo Bernables de Denny's Champions of Breakfast or whatever the fuck they sell there. <laughs> I, still, I still like the fact that just every now and then Kamatachi walks by and is like, the Denny's is doing well. Uh, we sold about $50, $50 worth of stuff today. <laughs> yeah, it's doing cool. We move forward into one of our qualification matches. In about 12 minutes, Bray Wyatt does indeed defeat Sheamus by pinfall with a sister Abigail. I've got something in my throat. I don't know what the hell it is. Poor fella. Is it a tongue? No, it's... Do you remember when Sheamus was relevant? No, not Neither at all. That was... Actually, Sheamus had an 89 performance, so he's, he's doing all right. 
Um, so yeah, Bray yes. Wyatt, yes. We, we now are waiting on the He's final the spot show. of the Elimination Chamber. It'll be Roman Reigns. Or the Miz. So currently we have Cesaro, Tyler Breeze, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Chris Hero, and Bray Wyatt. Stone Cold Steve Austin. It's pretty fucking solid if you ask me. 100 A star as another match is made for the show. I guess that's a little bit of a spoiler. But uh, Bray Wyatt's in the ring or whatever, relishing his victory. And Luke Harper comes out to celebrate with him. Uh, and Dean Ambrose hits the ring and tries to uh, cheap shot Bray Wyatt from behind. But Harper actually gets between the two of them and Harper and Ambrose start brawling around. You know, they brawl on the outside, whatever, whatever, whatever. Violence, 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 violence. Lots of violence. Somebody goes through a table. This is like, how, how long is this angle? It's a six minute angle. So yeah, we have time to like throw people through a table. We have time to do Any a whole... involved? We have time to do a whole bunch of crazy shit before Tetsuya Dean Naito gets, a, gets hit. Dean Ambrose gets a television, and as he's running to hit someone with it, it just unplugs and fucks him up. <laughs> Tetsuya uh, Naito comes I'm, out and stops, I'm, stops the two of them brawling, and he says, "You two, you two, you want to, you want to brawl? You, you, you got some unsettled shit, apparently, which is confusing. So I thought your unsettled shit was with Roman. Why, why are you going after Luke? I guess because you want to go after Bray." Because well, they still have unsettled shit from like 2015 Extreme Rules. In it's true. Chicago it's fight. true. And speaking of Extreme Rules, Chicago Street Fight, this match yeah. at New Year's Revolution will be a no disqualifications match. A Chicago no disqualifications match. I think the show the show is going to be in <coughs> Portland. I think so. A Portland, Chicago, no disqualifications match. No, no guaranteed location. I think. I think we were thinking about running uh... an unsanctioned match. Who, yeah. Who knows? Who knows, folks? A four corners. A four corners of survival squared circle match. And we will book that in right now. Dean Ambrose a versus sumo Luke Harper. Tables, blood match. A barbed wire steel dick match. Jesus, as you're we, sounding a lot like Vince Russo there. <laughs> as we as we follow up with Neville and his Roman United Reigns States Championship Chamber entry on a pole match. Putty, God damn it! <laughs> Stop Neville. Stop Matthew. My bad, Neville. Matthew. Neville's on the screen. Matthew Neville's in the back. Oh, my bro's on screen. Shh, shh, everyone, let him talk. Neville, with this title over his shoulder, says, you know, uh, interviewers with him, he says, you know, what, what, are, what are your thoughts, you know, on Rob Van Dam, you know, s talking, talking smack about you, like, just as he says that thing pops up in the corner, talking smack, talking smack with John with Cena. John Cena, yeah. right after SmackDown. Uh, Neville says, to be totally honest, Scott, John, whoever the fuck you are, it's, like, I literally don't have somebody on screen, it's just... For all we know, it's a robotic hand that's just sticking out. What strange, strange <laughs> robots. Damn, those robots taking our jobs. Strange robots we've manufactured into doing whatever. I don't give a damn what Rob Van Dam thinks. Because for whatever reason, Tetsuya Naito thinks that Rob Van Dam is going to be a challenge for Adrian Neville. I, I, I'm going to be honest. Ten years ago... No, more than 10 years ago now. 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago, Rob Van Dam would have been a threat to Adrian Neville. But this is the year 2018. RVD hasn't been relevant in the wrestling world for, like I said, 15 years. And every single year since then, he's been getting older and slower and more just overall old, fat, and shit. See, Rob Van Dam has this strange idea about himself where he thinks he can still go. And it's my utmost pleasure to remind him this Sunday that old habits die hard and an old stoner has no business in the ring with a real champion. And then Neville, Neville, Neville grabs the mic again, stares the camera down, gotta get that heel heat, and is like, ECW was fucking shit, and then leaves. <laughs> yep. Uh, Rich Swan defeats Sin Cara in 228 by pinfall with a rich kick. Sin Cara is, your, is Spanish for rich kick? Ah, I see. 
Rich Swan oh, defeats Sin Cara with the Sin Cara. I thought it was Rich Prick. No, no, that's that's Del Rio. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, so so we have some stealth shit. So, so we've got we're with Vince's boys now, and they're doing some amazing stealthy shit. They're like running around. Carl deals just with them again. We don't even really acknowledge why. Carl's just back with them. You know, they're very confused about the whole evil situation, what went down two weeks ago. Um, but, but they're getting close. They can, they can hear, they can hear the, the, uh, they can hear Naito's theme in the distance. And that's, that's how you know people are around. That's how it works in wrestling, folks, if you didn't know. People's themes play when they're, when they're nearby you. Um, and then they see a sign that says Denny's this way. And then they follow the sign. And who do they find in the Denny's? Matthew, would you like to do the honors? Um, I would. But I don't know what you're talking about. In the Denny's, they find... David Otunga. Oh. And David Otunga, Vince is like, David, David, sweet, okay. We've got another ally here. David, what can you tell us about uh, oh, no. about the layout of this place? And David says, Vince, I'm going to be totally honest. Right now, I, I, I wouldn't be fighting. <laughs> I, I'd be fighting you right now if you were still not the legal owner of Raw. See, nobody respects any laws or constitutions or policies here. <laughs> Naito has stomped on so many of them. I just, I just can't take it anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, I'll team up with you guys. Well. So Vince's squad. Vince McMahon, once again, has 11. Rest in peace, No Way Jose. As David Otunga has joined Vince McMahon's team, bringing it to Vince McMahon, Chris Jericho, the Apollo crew of Apollo Crews, Carl Deal, Jimmy Uso, and David Otunga. That's only six. I know, but Steph has five of them. Can you name those five? Steph, Aries, uh, Hero, Dalton, Pastor. Okay. You you passed the test. See, no way Jose was the 11th, but he died. Yeah. Um, wait, is piece. Carl technically even there anymore? He's yes. He's on Raw this week. Carl! No, Carl's there. Carl's there. Don't worry about it. Don't worry can about we, it. By the way, can we take a second to admire the Performance Center? Because I think Carl Deal is the first real success story of the Performance Center. The first real success story. Yep. I like think, the, the SmackDown Women's Champion. I like to think there's oh. an alternate universe where Carl Deal didn't get called up as part of the Apollo crew, and he got called up to SmackDown and became a really sleazy, like, businessman character. And he's in King of the <laughs> Ring right now, doing really well. Yeah, probably. Probably. But no, he's here with Apollo and Jimmy, his two best friends. <laughs> and my best friend. Chris Jericho's there, too. Don't forget about him. Anyways, crew, as we move friends. on, Roman Reigns makes his way to the ring for the main event of the da -da, evening. Da -da, da -da, da -da. 91A, da as The Miz defeats Roman Reigns in 1955 by pinfall with a skull-crushing finale following interference from Seth Rollins. <gasps> Hallelujah. <gasps> Big swerve of Seth Rollins actually working for Maurice with her new baby. Oh my I god. Mean, really, they're really good terms. He, he is he is the Mrs. Son, folks. <laughs> That's the new baby. <laughs> so we have we have Seth Rollins on the outside of the ring, and you know, Miz rolls is, out is Miz the, the third member of Shield 2.0? Miz rolls out and runs away. And oh, no, Roman no. stands up and turns and he looks at Seth. And Seth is on the outside, and he's pissed Roman off. So Seth's like, oh, fuck, I'm going to die today, aren't I? <laughs> and so... Yeah, yes, you are. Surprisingly, Roman grabs a microphone. That's very surprising. Well, well, wait, Roman can speak. And Roman says, Seth, Seth, Seth. Have you ever heard the story of Jack and the Beanstalk? <laughs> All right, when Jack interfered... In the Giants match, the Beanstalk collapsed, and you got spibbly dead. <laughs> no, he says, Seth, you know, you'd expect 
me to be mad, wouldn't you? You expect me to be so angry, I wanted to rip your head off. Matter of fact, I very much want to. But, Seth, you were right. You can't get anywhere in wrestling while looking out for other people. Seth, you have to look out for yourself. And, and and so Seth, I, I I wanted to I wanted to get you to think about something for a minute. When you look at Dean Ambrose and, and whatever this is, that you are are you allies with him now? Are you two friends again? Because you know, Dean can just forgive your horrific actions. You literally murdered a 16-time world champion. See, Seth, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> I just want what's best for you. Because, Seth, I, I look at you, and when when we were together in the Shield, I look at you, I looked at you, and I saw this this guy. Who could be on top? You were on top, Seth. Oh, you yeah, want to know was. how you get there again? <laughs> you, you stop caring about Dean Ambrose. You, you, you go back to what you were doing. And I know, I know, for a short time, it felt like you were stuck. God damn, there are sexual undertones in this entire promo, aren't there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, back when we were together in the Shield, Seth. But Seth, Seth, you just gotta keep at it. So Seth, what, why, what, what do you say? What do you say you drop this whole Dean Ambrose alliance thing? And or maybe, Richard. maybe even if you felt like it, you you came Ooh. and you worked <laughs> oh. for money for Mr. Wyatt. Seth, 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 I understand. I understand that there, of course, are certain things that, you know, one has to look out for by looking out for themselves. But what if, what if we looked out for ourselves together? Circle jerk. You see, Seth... What if me and you were to take out this this Dean Ambrose problem? And what if me and you then went on and held the tag team championships? What 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 would you say about that? And Seth Seth rolls into the ring. Seth Rollings. He rollings. Oh. He rollings into the <laughs> ring, and he. And he, and he looks at Roman. And, you know, he's considering his options here. And he looks around, and Roman sticks out his hand. And then Ambrose attacks Roman from behind, DDTs him. <laughs> <laughs> Seth rolls outside the ring, grabs a chair, and cracks Roman right over the back, just like he had Do done get- four years prior. Do we get a concerto? We haven't seen a concerto in years. Fuck it, we get a concerto. So Ambrose puts Woo! puts the chair under the face of Roman Reigns, and Rollins brings down his chair, crushing the skull no. of Roman Reigns. He's doing a concerto with a curb stomp. <laughs> oh! Fuck, they put the two yeah. chairs on him, and he curb stomps them. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose do a little high five deal. You know, they're the like, yeah! was this Sunday! Roman's fucked. Oh, he's not. Roman's not on the. Roman's not on the match. No, that's, that's even funny. even then is Roman fucked because as Ambrose <laughs> and Rollins walk up the ramp, we turn back with the camera in the ring, and Roman Reigns is on one knee, <laughs> <laughs> and he points, he points at Rollins and Ambrose, makes the cutthroat motion, and we fade to black. For the end of Monday Night Raw. That's a sick end.
ending. Since it's January, he could have pointed to the WrestleMania sign. He did. He points to the WrestleMania sign. He points to <laughs> Seth and Dean and cutthroats that will never be touched on again. <laughs> Shield triple threat. <laughs> I'm uh, 94A overall.